Hey guys, my name is Rexwing and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves here on the Sly Collection. You heard the plan for the operation? The Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassan at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basad up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Basad from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's log so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. So let's go out with Bentley and get it started. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. And yeah, apparently uh, the other two are not really uh, recognizable enough to make it a problem. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let him try. So yeah, we just need to uh, chop here when uh, the green bar is over the log. Okay, I messed that one up. So we're probably not getting a ten. Yeah, eight, nine, nine. Hmm. Yeah, not a ten. Yeah, you need to get it perfect and not miss any, or you're gonna mess up. Which Kind of sucks, but uh, let's uh, give it another shot. Not bad, hippo. But watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Well, we uh, did it at least. But he's probably going to do just as good. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Bassan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. <laughs> so yeah, now uh, we're gonna do our part. Um, unfortunately, the eagle... Ready? Wow, this is going fantastic so far. Okay, let's uh, not get swooped on by an eagle. See, and now there's not even an eagle here, so I just got very unlucky. Oh well, let's uh, make sure we dodge them when they do come in. We do have a limited time, but you should still have enough. Uh, and dodging the eagles is a much higher priority. Um, now that we're over here though. Uh, another annoying thing is that you cannot jump in this uh, part. So you're just going to have to wait for the ice cubes to uh, come to you. And yeah, hopefully this timing is right. It is. Okay, good. So we're almost there. Just gonna make... Okay, it's gonna make one more detour. He's... Seriously? Okay, this is taking forever. We almost didn't make it because of this last one going so super, super slow. But there we go, we planted it. And, uh, yeah, they don't quite uh, fancy his chances. What? I think you'd better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? So your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. 
So yeah, he is definitely cheating. But now for this next one, it's actually a little bit more clear what you need to do to uh, pass it. We just need to uh, reach the top in our allowed time. Okay, I don't know why you skipped this middle one. Oh, um, oops, I messed it up. Okay, we need to wait for the electricity and then go. There we go. And we're at the top. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Hurry, use those grapples to hook on to Bison. You will need to hook it with all three lines to pull him off the wall. I like how in uh, the little uh, mission statement they said that it was going to be um, Sly doing this, but it's actually uh, Murray doing it. Doesn't really matter much though, but yeah, you need to do it pretty quickly. You can't really miss like I'm doing. Oh my. Come on. No. Okay, I think I'm pretty much too late already at this point. Surely that didn't hit as... Okay, well, I think I'm too late already, but yeah. Damn it. I am king of the mountain. I am doing so poorly this operation. Okay, let's give it another shot. This time uh, we need to make sure we hook on to him. I am so bad with aiming grappling hooks. I really, really am quite, quite awful. Okay, he's gonna jump there. I, I, I always shoot it too high. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, that one, that one still counted. I was gonna say like. If that one doesn't count, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Uh, he's going to jump to the side, so let's go for the side. No, that didn't hit. This should. Good, we still pulled him down. Right in time. And he gets all zeros again. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last, the spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. So yeah, this one isn't really too hard. We just gotta stay and uh, jump every now and then. When you see a log about to hit the water, you uh, want to go off of it and to a different one. And generally, it's the best idea to s try to stay in the middle as long as you can. And only when the middle one goes down, don't go on it. But I had to itch my nose because I had an itchy nose and then I well, didn't have my hand on the controller to move to the side. So that was all on me actually. Um, but yeah, oh no, oh come on. I, I'm, I'm doing very, very poorly. I like how they still give me like twos and ones. But they give Jean Bizon like a zero if he didn't reach the top of the wall. Even though like... He, he still climbed like most of it. Like that, that, that wouldn't be a zero, right? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. He cheats anyway and uh, intimidates the judges into giving him perfect scores. So, yeah, we're going to have to uh, do our own cheating as well to uh, make sure we still get a win here. Oh, guess we had to uh, go back there. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, this also seems to be a little bit random. Like, there doesn't seem to be any discernible pattern. It doesn't really matter, like, if you stay on it for this long, the log will go down or anything. It's nothing like that. You're just going to have to uh, kind of get lucky and uh, hope you don't jump poorly and make poor choices. You're one lucky turtle. I'll give you that. Now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. 
That's a great plan, Sly. But you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. So we are pretty pressured for time here. So what we want to do is uh, throw this over. Um, I messed that up. Um, he should come over all the way over here. Come on, come now. And finally, one last one into the cave. And that's one down, two more to go. And Bentley taking it over. I, I wonder where he got like the fake beak, because that looks funny. Okay, it that, that was close enough, luckily. No? Why, why aren't they not coming? Like, seriously? They should come to this. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then, in here? No? Okay, fine. You can come there first. I, oh my god, don't go back. Don't go back. You know there's no need to go back. What? And now he comes all, so all the way here? This makes no sense. Okay, let's try this again. And this time, hopefully, it doesn't do dumb things. We're gonna throw one over there, that should lure it over. And then we're gonna throw one in here, and that should lure him further over, right? Yeah. And that's one down, okay. So that's good. It should really work like that for all of them. Um, so let's throw this on here. That should get him over one step, and then we throw one in the cave. And that should get him for the next step. And then we just keep our distance, and there we go. Now Murray is going to take over. And uh, he, he looks even less like one of those judges. Like, Bentley still is green at least, so he could potentially be it. But yeah, the other guy, or Murray, I mean, and Sly as well, they're not going to look anything alike. But oh well, luckily uh, Jean Bizon is pretty stupid, and uh, we'll probably get away with it. for incorrect scores. Wait a sec. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh, who, where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, candy britches. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I... Just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were unconscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. 
You solve all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissan. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which level. And we actually have a really cool uh, thing here uh, because, well, yeah, we can uh, like have Sly drop all of these things and stuff like that. I'm doing really poorly at the moment, but yeah, you actually use all of the things to um, attack him, and that is so cool. Uh, I just always forget what is which one and then mess it up. But yeah, uh, square for fire basically. I think it is circle for log. Uh, so let's see if we can get him underneath it. There we go. See, that works. And. Oh, right. Well, we shouldn't run into him, of course. Okay, let's uh, give this a new try. Oh, I keep dropping stuff on myself. That's, of course, very bad. And uh, saws now. Why am I not hitting him with any of these? There we go. That's more like it. Okay, but yeah, th this is a really cool boss battle. Like last boss, I was saying like how most of them seem so similar. But this one is actually quite different, you know. You actually have to use a lot of different things uh, to beat him. And, and like you use his uh, machinery and stuff against him. Saw blades, thank you. Okay, there we go. Now come on over here and I will set you on fire again. What? How did that miss? I don't know how that one missed. Again, I keep missing him. That That's unfortunate. Oh well. This should work. That worked quite nicely. Saw blades again? There we go. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Although it does uh, take a while. It would be a little bit better, I think, if he took a little bit more damage from certain things. Um to make this battle go by a little bit quicker because it does sometimes feel like it drags on a little bit but other than that it is definitely a very very fun battle uh, in my opinion there we go and this is the final phase and he's gonna also start chucking dynamite at me so that adds you know another uh, dimension of having to dodge things by him they also come out pretty quickly so that is pretty dangerous it's not like you have a whole lot of time to dodge them um, but it still is pretty easy luckily you don't have to be close to him to actually um, to actually hurt him because you hurt him from a distance essentially come on fire no log there we go oh I got hit into that that is bad Okay, come on here. Saws. Oh, I ran into that. Oh, I'm doing so poorly. Okay, let me just do this off screen. Tarnation! I've been done in by some four eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Besson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! 
Shake a leg, that blimp's on its way. So yeah, finally we uh, need to actually go over there. Uh, we have to run of course with the slow swim Bentley. But one funny thing is, in the end I beat that mission by just using fire the entire time and circling around one fire pad. That's really the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. But here we are. Murray is going to go ahead and toss Bentley up there and then use the trampoline himself. And now we're all going to get in the battery. And that is our job completed. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that Jean Besson's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. And that's that for episode 7 of the game. So next time we're going to go ahead and play episode 8. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more. Then please do consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you're down there. Maybe leave a thumbs up too. See you guys next time.